Hi, I'm Craig Doerr, Athlete for RSA Team ANZ, and today I'm going to be speaking about RSA Risk-Based Authentication, or as you may have heard of it before, Multi-Factor User Authentication. Why multi-factor? Because no single two factors are used in deciding a user is who they say they are. This is authentication based on a whole multiplicity of different attributes that the user is associated with. Things like their normal behavior, or their account history, or their device forensics. Elements of the device that they're using to log in from. And because the solution inside of Auth Manager uses no tokens, you're getting strong authentication with a simple user experience, meaning just their username and password. This has the benefit of scaling very largely. For example, here in Australia, Queensland Health has 65,000 doctors and nurses signing into web services using the Risk Engine. All of this managed by simply a security team of five. So you can see the scaling benefits right away. And, our, and the risk engine is not necessarily new to RSA. We've been running a risk engine in a product called Adaptive Auth in the financial services industry for over 10 years. But we've taken that risk engine and its technology and put it into our enterprise Secure ID product so that you can enjoy the benefits. So this video is just going to show the simple benefits of a user signing in with just their password and using the Risk Engine. So I'm going to show this to you very quickly and then we'll move to part two. So the idea here is that I have a web service that has been enabled to use our Risk Engine. The integration is very simple. We provide a little bit of code for you to drop into the product and then it redirects you to our web tier this component is installed with Auth Manager 8, which means that we can handle the login experience for all of your web services. But in this case, I'm using a Juniper SSL VPN. And I'm going to use a user that's defined in Active Directory. Active Directory is not required to be using this solution. It's just simply a means of illustration. You can use other identity sources or the RSA internal database. But in this case, it's my Active Directory credential. And this user has been provisioned already with risk-based authentication. Signing into the VPN is a simple matter of entering in those credentials and bang, we have access to the Juniper landing page. The risk engine has actually watched over this whole orchestration. But since the user is doing something completely normal for that user, they see essentially nothing. If they were to do something anomalous, or register a new device, they would be prompted for a second layer of authentication, typically an SMS token code. This concludes the demonstration. I hope you found it informative, and please feel free to join us in video two. Thank you.